what's approaching the supreme moment reality striking closer than it seems don't it go ahead what's good let's go ahead and start another session this is going to be another one that you won't really see too often maxed out a rainbow status the Majin Buu shaped up, so he's been hitting the gym a little bit. Surprisingly, this guy can hit pretty decent, so I'll cover the stats real fast, and then we'll actually see his damage output here in a second. Uh, he provides the uh, leader skill for plus three key for agility types, as well as attack and defense increase of 50% when HP is 30% or below, or above, sorry. Uh, super attack is the meteor shower assault, causes supreme damage with a rare chance to stun the enemy. Uh, passive skill is Motivated Majin, attack increases of 80%, plus an additional attack and defense increase of 40% for 7 turns from the start of the turn. Alright, Link skills, he's got the Innocence, that'll add 10% toward attack, Revival, that adds plus 2 key Brainiacs, attack and defense will increase by 10%, Majin adds attack and defense increase of 10%, Shocking Speed will add plus 2 key, and Infinite Regeneration will add... Uh, the ability to recover 3% of HP. Uh, he falls into two categories. This is going to be Resurrected Warriors, which we'll, you'll see in the video, and then also for the Universe Survival Saga. Uh, maxed out, his HP is 12,716, attack at 12,632, uh, defense is 10,851. Uh, 12 key multiplier is 135%. So this is a private server test, so stats may differ a little bit from the actual game. Uh, as you noted, defense is uh, pretty decent in terms of stats for this guy. And uh, he can actually hit pretty decent because uh, it's not really practical, but I built a team around the Shape Up Boo. Um, so you're going to see variations of Majin Boo. You'll see, you know, you know the strength type. The uh, tech buff boo, uh, the physical type kid boo, you know, the, all those guys are going to be adding, uh, providing passive skills and link skills that are going to help uh, him maximize damage output. And you'll also get to see a glimpse of his uh, defensive abilities as well. Uh, since he does increase attack and defense by 40% for 7 turns from the beginning. Um, and his, like I said, his defensive stats is uh, 10,000, so that's actually pretty decent as well. So. Um, yeah, the fact that he can actually hit pretty decent uh, was actually very surprising for me. I wasn't expecting that kind of output. Uh, but again, you know, he is getting uh, link skills through various uh, variations of, of Majin Buu. Um, most of the time you're seeing, you know, attack increase link skills from uh, Innocence that adds 10%. Majin will add another 10% you know and whatnot so, uh, some of those have uh, brainiacs i think the uh, demigrad that i included has that ability so like i said it's just uh building a team around you know the shaped up boo in mind i guess you know just maximizing his potential that's really what these uh, showcase videos are, are meant for so um you know it's, it's specific to a certain unit in terms of how the team is is built around so not really practical, but in terms of a showcase video, that's kind of the format. <clears throat> Alright, so he's going to be going into uh, Dokkan mode uh, with type advantage against Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. So he should do pretty decent. I mean, so far I've seen with the criticals anywhere from, you know, a little less than a mil to like 1.3 mil. So uh, the output's definitely decent. And um, really haven't seen a whole lot in terms of defending. Um, a super attack potentially so we'll, we'll have to see if uh, you know if he can defend fairly well against uh, super attacks but we'll go ahead and see how this uh, Dokkan mode attack is alright so no criticals but he did hit for 3.6 million definitely higher than um, your typical units I mean it's nowhere crazy or anything but I've seen units that uh, I've tested that you know even with Dokamo they've only hit for you know like 1.5 million or something like that so you know 3.6 million uh, in comparison is, is a very respectable figure so against uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta with the critical he's hitting for a million that is actually very decent uh, for, for this guy to be able to hit like that. So uh, that uh, passive skill of uh, attack increase of, of 80%, 
as well as the additional attack and defense increase of 40 percent uh, that definitely does help because in total you're looking at 120 percent uh, increase toward attack just from the passive alone so with the lean skills like kid boo as you see here that adds you know 50 percent toward attack and defense um, if hp is 80 percent or above and then you know, I'm sure Demigrad is providing that um, Brainiac's uh, link for another 10%. I mean, that's that adds up to a pretty decent number. So with that in mind, I mean, he's looking at 1.26 million in potential. Uh, let's see how much he actually has for, like 1.5 million. So certainly not bad there. This guy, the buff boo, is definitely pretty, uh, pretty amazing too. He can hit pretty hard. So unfortunately, HP is below 80%, so he's not gonna have that uh, passive from Kid Boo activated. But you know, disregarding that, he's still at you know a million in potential. He'll hit less, I'm sure, uh, about 560 without the critical stuff. So. Uh, still not a bad output overall. This guy definitely surprised the hell out of me. Alright, another Dokkan mode. Unfortunately, it's a uh, type disadvantage scenario against the Super Saiyan Angel Goku. But if a critical activates, you know, that nullifies pretty much everything. So, it'll be fine, I guess. Hope I'm just hoping for a critical. All right, so Kid Buu's 50% uh, definitely doesn't apply here because HP is uh, less than 80% again. So not fully maximized at this point, but it's a good way to compare, I guess, kind of taking out the ridiculous 50% increase to attack and defense uh, passive from Kid Buu, just kind of normalize it a little bit. Well, I mean, no critical, and he still hit for 1.2 million, so um, I understand, you know, the Angel Goku is a little bit, or not a little bit, but much weaker than certain bosses, but uh, yeah, with type disadvantage, he's still able to hit pretty hard. So we'll, uh, we'll activate that passive skill again of 50%, uh, that way we'll just kind of, you know, test out how high he can go. I'd say anywhere from 1.3 to 1.4 million is probably the max, excluding Doka mode I've seen so far. <clears throat> Alright, so we do have Angel, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku up. Uh, much, much better type of boss, plus it is a type disadvantage. So obviously he's going to hit a lot less there, but that's pretty much expected. Alright, now we got a mirror match against the, you know, different types of Boo here. So we'll see how it goes. I think, you know, once this guy, uh, the Jiren comes out in global, he's going to provide pretty much 150% toward HP attack and defense for the universe survival saga um, you know types or category cards um, once his uh, Dokkan Awaken comes so I mean it, he's definitely uh, able to be included in, in that category team setup I mean obviously there's much better units within that category but you know you could potentially replace uh, Angel Golden Frieza and include somebody like this instead to kind of make it uh, strictly super type based. I mean, that's an option there. I mean, I don't know how the link skills will work per se uh, in that type of category team, but you know, be it'll it'll be interesting to find out. I'm sure you know different cards will have you know um, link skills like the Innocence and Shocking Speed uh, for sure. I mean, there are many cards that have that uh, link, so it shouldn't be too bad. 
All right, well, that's pretty much uh, the brief uh, showcase video for this uh, Shape Up booth. So thanks for watching.